and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Professor Snapvine. Uh, we're going to be playing a, a new deck here. It's another another viewer submitted donation deck uh, for Meme Tier Monday. We've had had a bunch of viewer submitted decks today. Um, had some fun so far. We're going to keep on having it. So this deck is about Professor Von Yep. Whenever we summon a one cost ally, grant it plus two plus two. And then we have a whole bunch of good one cost allies. Of course, Maokai's make saplings. Those are one cost allies. So with Professor Von Yip in play, these will be four threes that we are challenging with Ephemeral. Same with the Blighted Caretaker. That's pretty awesome. But then, of course, like our Vile Feast with the Spiderlings. Those are one cost allies. You know, Elise attacking, making a Spiderling. So it starts making those be three threes. Jury Rig's a three three. The Aristocrat and the other version of Aristocrats are three threes, and same with the Crawling Sensations. So, you know, we get to make those all three threes. Um, I guess these things are, yeah, those are zeros. Um, and then, the so that's part of our, our combo with our deck. And then the other part is we have Overgrown Snap Finds. Uh, whenever you summon a follower, you kill it and summon an Overgrown Snap Find. So we have all of those ways to put followers in play, the like cheap followers in play. Uh, but all of those will just turn into four threes instead of and permanent four threes, you know. Like so, Maokai. Like if you have a Maokai in play, you play something else. Maokai will just make instead of summoning a sapling, it will just summon an overgrown snapvine, just a four three, and you just over overload the board with four threes, and your opponent can't uh, stop them. Um, okay, this is a, this is a Mogwai deck. Okay, good to know. So yeah, okay, so. Uh, mentioning Mogwai here then. Yep, there we go. Uh, so yeah, so this is a, a Mogwai deck. Um, and yeah, looks pretty looks pretty fun. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. We're going to go play five games like we always do. Okay. Yeah, my bad. So uh, yeah, so this is a, a Mogwai deck that uh, a viewer submitted for, for me to try. So here we go. All right, we're gonna have uh, gonna have a pretty good hand. So like, I want to mulligan Von Yip and Collector just because you know like, they're more expensive, but they're also just really good cards for our deck and pretty powerful cards. Um, I guess we can get rid of Glimpse Beyond, and then I'm gonna keep one of these, and I guess it's probably better to keep Von Yip. I'm gonna keep the Von Yip. We have a whole bunch of crawling sensations. Oh, I can't wait. There's really no reason not to attack with Hapless Aristocrat as well. Um, because this thing's already gonna do two damage to us whenever they block the spiderling. The main thing that, that attack accomplishes for us is now it's gonna be more difficult for them to attack with Crimson Disciple. All right, just playing on curve. Like this? Oh, I see. I'll try anyone. Hush now. Gonna take some more damage. Where are you going? Let's get a good look at you. But even though we take some more damage here, we still, like, the hapless aristocrat turns into a 3-3. Three, three, so that's better than than that. Um, I don't. I would think that they would want to trade here, right? Like, oh, they can't. They can't. Right. This is, my friend, friend is here as fearsome. Never mind, they can't. Oh, no. Well, that goes, there goes, like, all of my plans. Oh, 
I do wonder if we have too many crawling sensations. don't have too many you just drew too many well i mean that's that's kind of the thing it's like do we do you really need like any games where you're drawing like three crawling sensations you know even drawing two it we do run out of room with them so i like having challenger that's pretty cool i think i'm just gonna go ahead and challenge everything <laughs> yeah, we probably did we probably did just have like a pretty strange draw of like crawling sensations and then these cards. So why didn't they play the Solitary Monk first and just pick that thing back up? Already. I wonder why did they pass priority? I need no weapon. That's the best card to Vengeance on our end. Let me show you what I can do. If they don't break, they'll burn. And that would have been good to Vengeance too, I suppose. You retreat it because that that is a play trigger yeah they're doing that that's that's a play trigger um i think we can safely play the neverglade collector first So I go down to five, and everything trades. It's okay. I could Vile Feast my own Spiderling, but I'll just let this happen. Because, yeah, they're pretty out of gas. And we'll go wide. Um, gonna be playing the Neverglade Collector next turn. Don't need to play Salesman and make it easier for them to kill us. But if they draw a Green Glade Duo, we have Vile Feast. game. There we go. Good job, Elise. Elise that challenger. Oh, 
if my opponent would have like put in the if they would have put in the three one instead of like with the return instead of re putting in the imperial demolitionist that could have been uh could have made a difference all right leeson plus debate yeah ggs Hmm. This kid has a lot of potential. I'm gonna just keep the Von Yips and see where it goes from here. It's kind of weird how we have. Like, this deck is kind of weird how we have Professor Von Yip and Maokai and Neverglade Collector. We have so many cards that cost 4 and 5 mana that we don't want to have in combat. And that's kind of weird. To have so many of those kind of cards. But, the I think the thinking is, like, if we have... We just have so many that something's got to survive, right? We can't have, like, removal on all of them. Oh yeah, we're 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 going greedy with two Von Yips for sure. Because I think if we play the first Von Yip, it dies, then we have the second. I'm always up for a round or two. All that glitters. Oh, these jury rigs were great draws with having two Von Yips. Two professors. We two professors and a snap vine. That's the name of our deck. Professor Snap Vine. Stack in the eye. That's gonna be drawing a lot of cards. Attack with Twisted Fate. I think my surprise is a little bit better than their surprise. So they're about to draw a whole bunch of cards. So I ideally we would play Maokai, then Elise, and then we get the Sapling, and so then the Sapling can. I guess we're gonna do that. Then the Sapling can uh, challenge the Twisted Fate. That's why I didn't play the Jury Rig because we just don't have room for Jury Rig. Like, you know, because we need, we need that sapling. I need them to not gold card my sapling either. Hopefully no more card draw. You know, hopefully they don't get to level up to a fate. And this is a whenever you play an ally, so it's not summon. So I can't just go jury rig and make a sapling. Dang. Now this game's heating up. Well, hopefully they can't gold card. Okay, unlikely they'll be able to gold card. Blue as the serpent. I know what lurks in the shadows.
morning shot. I don't like it. Ugh. Darn it, they were able to gold card. Dead in their tracks. I can't, I can't make another attacker with either of these because they just get, you know, they, it's not like I replace them. I'm not playing things that I can't replace. So I won't Vile Feast that thing, because I could Vile Feast the next thing. Easy. It's too late for you. Yeah, having three three things that don't do anything in combat is really messy, especially one like you have to have more room for your saplings too. This is really messy. Yeah, like we we just don't have room. The spirit gives to those who listen. We really don't. Eyes open. It's the problem with crawling sensation, is it just takes up too much room. What happens if I play... If I play snap, like... I don't even really want snap vines, I want to be able to make saplings. So yeah, we could, we could block here because, like, red card's gonna kill this anyway. But how do I how do I ever kill Twisted Fate? Like I don't think I can, can I? Stay back. I I still can't play Snapvine, can I? Because I play Snapvine, I make a sapling. <clears throat> and if they kill my snap vine, I don't have I don't have room to make a new snap vine. Because like we'll still be full if I play if I cast snap vine. Oh, the snapling turns into a sa snap vine? Okay. Oh yeah, because this is in play first. Okay. So yeah, never mind, we got room. But now I just don't have saplings to kill twisted fate. Okay. Fire as ever I see. 
A child's anger has become a mess. What kind of removal in here do we have? That should be... I should say that a different way, though. What kind of removal do we have in here? Three Black Spear, one Grasp, one Vengeance. Five removal spells. Treasures of the ages. Dead in their tracks. You dare! I don't know. I don't know if y'all understand it, but we're at zero percent to win this game. We have. There's no chance. Like, there's no possible way that we can win this game. I'm not sure if y'all understand that or not. Like, we really are zero percent. Like, there's not. There's not a single thing we can do that can win. We're not gonna get through like draglings, like plus twisted fate. Like they just they can block forever. It's the problem. With, it's just basically the problem with overgrown snapvine. Like we need to we need to have them like have overwhelm or elusive or something, but we can't we can't ever get through. <clears throat> or if we could go like you know twenty across, but as is. I guess I didn't have to attack with one of these, but whatever. I need things to die. Oh, I guess Maokai level up. Okay, that was that was something I didn't really think too much. Maokai level up. Yeah, I was just wanting to clear a space. But yeah, if I just maybe don't attack with Maokai, we get another snap vine. Eh, Maokai's gonna die pretty soon, but. Your lesson begins. Yeah, Sumperk's map. Ready yourself. They got 19, Maokai has 13. They're leaving all these things at one health to clear them up, of course, for the red card. Yeah, I mean, what what do you? All the I don't. Let your instinct speak. Mod, what's what's wrong? What is gain to be the malevolence? Mod, what's wrong? Someone here? 
Uh, let's see. Soak it in. All right, we'll go to the next game. Twisted Fate. Good card. Good card. But yeah, if, if we, yeah, Neverglade, yeah, Neverglade couldn't help us. We would need to have the other, um, uh, yeah, like, the, <clears throat> the thing that won my opponent of this game was that, that, that double warning shot, um, with, that was critical to get that goal card. Yeah, we need so you need Neverglade Collector in play before you play Snapvine, because once you have Snapvine in play, then the Neverglade Collector will just turn into a Snapvine. Yeah, Neverglade is a way to kind of break a board stall like that, with having a lot of things die. Okay. Black Spear, we need you last game. Alright, so definitely like having a lease. Draven Jinx. They're gonna be super aggro. I'm gonna be keeping both Elises, because I could see one Elise dying and us wanting the other Elise. Maokai is probably going to be pretty good against the aggro deck too, and I don't really mind Black Spear either as a way to kill Draven and Jinx, so uh, let's keep it all. Like, maybe we mulligan Maokai, but I, I like how Maokai against the aggro deck can just keep on making these saplings for us. Third Elise. So we're going to be trading off Elise pretty aggressively. Don't worry. I've read all about this. With having so many. You know, blocking a lot. Just getting in combat. I don't really like casting Elise as Crawling Sensation. I'd rather I'd rather have, like, the Elise die in combat and everything like that. And then uh, play a new Elise. Now I've lost my place. Okay, so you say we should go for Maokai on 4, then Yip on 5, and Neverglade on 6, if you have those cards. Okay. I have the best job. Okay, let's see. So we got the Black Spear. But... I the to cast Black Spear, I'm not really doing anything else. Got axes, need victims. Okay. A little surprised they didn't attack with the Astute Academic also and just trade with Elise. Let's see. Could go for leveling up Elise or go for Maokai. Let's get Maokai in play. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings or people. You should try puking sometimes. With the help of spinning axes, they can discard their hand quite rapidly to level up Jinx. Hopefully Black Spear works.
Fusion. Perhaps we should pause for thought. Keeping, keeping Jinx alive. This is really nice having, you know, Maokai and then, you know, Professor Vanya making the 4 3. <laughs> yeah, like making those things 4 3s. That is really nice. Uh, yeah, let's glimpse beyond. Draw some more cards, look for some more removal. Um, I guess this could be a decent time for the Crawling Sensation now that we have the Professor in play. No, Alright, so rummaged away Mystic Shot to get that Jinx level up. They already leveled. They already uh, emptied their hand one time this this turn, so that doesn't uh, doesn't trigger the super mega death rocket. <laughs> You've had three yips in play, making your card seven sevens. That is just silly. All right, so this will trade here with Elise. That's worth it. Making another 3 3. Alright, and hopefully we get to get rid of the Jinx this next turn with the Black Spear. Make another 3-3 three, three before we sacrifice this. Draw two. Black Spear Jinx. And we should just have this from here. Down to eight. Should just begin. We're gonna be playing this jury rig to block Draven. Got access, need victims. And then we'll just go straight to attacks. I guess if I go straight to attacks, they could. Maybe we should play Neverglade Collector. If this is like Mystic Shot, kill a 3-2, they block another 3-2, they take 7, so they're not quite dead. And so Salesman... Oh, but I have Salesman plus Collector, so yeah, they're still dead. I refuse to wilt. So yeah, they're still dead. Uh, 
All right, two and one. Good win. We got to see our Professor Von Yip making a whole bunch of three threes. Misfortune Sejuani. Well, I love Vengeance against Sejuani. Black Spear is good against Misfortune. So honestly, I think I just kind of keep. Like, we don't have that much removal. I think these removal spells are at a premium. Let's just keep. Um, I'm probably, probably not casting anything on turn three. Probably banking the spell mana, but maybe we're killing Misfortune. This card seems kind of weird in our deck, doesn't it? Oh, Just use Cast Salesman. Take me home. Hush, my sweet. It'll be over soon. Y'all know what this card's really for? It's like another card that goes wide in our deck that the whole point of the deck is go wide. What if this could be like Mystic Shot? Fortune favors the bold. Hmm. Oh, okay, for the snap finds. For three mana, you get three snap finds. Okay, okay. So that helps. We get to <clears throat> Black Spear that thing before combat now. You know, before they... Because they get to... You know, the Elise is vulnerable, so they get to challenge the Elise. And kill the Elise with the Misfortune. There's plenty of killing left. The Isles will bloom again. And then also it combos with Neverglade. No, stop making the vulnerable. I like my champions. Like this? Oh, I see. So I want to play Crawling Sensation after, you know, obviously challenge something with Sapling first. Um, but then I would I would like to play Crawling Sensation. The one problem with playing Crawling Sensation is that then we have six mana next turn, and if they they could have Sejuani next turn, and if I keep if I don't play this, I could keep seven mana available for Vengeance. No prey, no. Uh, Fury of the North. Does that mean? Hey, Colby, just hit, just hit Masters. Good job. Good job, Colby. Point, I shoot. 
rats. No, the the uh, caustic casks are zero mana, so they they do not get uh, pumped up by Professor Vanyev. All right, not a bad card to draw. I think they still have two of my cards. Yeah, Madara, yeah, this is a really good game. No refunds. <clears throat> I basically did that to be able to have the ability to have vengeance still. Hey, it's all good, Kordak. Okay, yeah. Actually, so about that, your step in Overwhelm deck. Um, I guess what I didn't realize, like with the activity feed, I can only go back five days. So I actually don't have your deck code anymore. So if so, that was one reason why I post, postponed your deck till tomorrow. Um, so if you have if you have your deck code, if you could send it to me again, I would really appreciate that. That's my bad. Let's make a deal. Maybe I'm supposed to attack with Professor Von Yip as well. Yeah, they block Professor Von Yip with Misfortune, but that's just another thing dying for uh, Neverglade Collector. Make it worth my while. Wouldn't Scrap Dash Assembly be better than Used Cask Salesman? Uh, that puts them down to one. Interesting. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that being better. Uh, making two, I, you know, like that would just make, uh, yeah, I could definitely see that being better. You know, it's not three snap vines, it's two snap vines, but you get to use spell mana for that. Um, and it's like the two one ones for Professor Vanya. Yeah, I like that. Okay, their deck doesn't play that much removal. So I don't think they have anything that does three damage. So I think that we're just pretty safe to go ahead and kill the spider. And do the one damage to them. I think this looks this looks pretty safe after that. They, they, I wanted to wait a little bit, have them spend some more mana. Oh, the record was bugged. Now we're gonna be three and one. Okay. 
Vengeance Von Yip. Yeah, Von Yip was amazing that game. Like that was definitely a great Von Yip game. Okay, here we go. Uh, Snapvine can go on back. Ooh, elusives. This is gonna be tough. Um, what if I mulligan everything? Like, elusives doesn't really kill our stuff as far as Black Spear goes. I don't really need any of these. I'll keep the Black Spear. It's, it's too good, and especially how they do have Zed. You know, Zed, like, this is what we kind of need against Zed. I'll feel bad if... Um, that egg. Did it move? Uh, if, you know, like, we mulligan the Black Spear and end up needing it. But Elise is definitely what I really wanted. Professor Von Yip as well. I, I know just the place. When they have one blocker like that, always still attack with the Aristocrat, because the Elise is making that other attacker anyway that they would be able to block. looking too bad for us. I don't know. This is a this is gonna be a close game. Their hand's pretty solid, but ours is as well. Quite right. Quite right. Check that out, just a second. I hope I didn't miss too much. Did I did I miss a turn? Yeah, it looks like I did miss a turn, didn't I? Alright, so we're at five mana. Salesman. At the door. Passed one turn due to roping. Yuck. Try to get rid of them as fast as I can, you know, they said they'll, they'll come back in a few hours. Try telling them that I'm busy, but... Hey, new bloco. Alright, so... 
And we may just may just like play another game, like not count this game because of that. We'll see. Maybe we can just win. That would be nice. Uh, could go another Professor Von Yip. They didn't seem to do too much damage to me. They got a whole lot of blockers. I must get out of here. You will suffer long. Okay, it didn't affect the game too much. Uh, no, they were not wearing a mask. All right, Cordex sent me the list. Thank you, Cordex. Who else do I need the list from? I need Cabo. Is Cabo here in chat? Cabo 34. I need Cabo's list. Besides that, I have the rest of them. That's the other one that I they got lost. Twin disciplines? That's okay. Okay. Still going wide. All right. Well, don't, I just don't want to black spear any of these. You know, like this is just not a good black spear on any of them, and we can't can't do the other thing. So, trade there you can trade here you can trade here you can just block there and I take seven seven's kind of a lot We should be fine. I have no mana left. Get rid of the elusive. And make some more five fives. We should be good to go. We'll just play the skitter right now and go straight to attacks next turn. Overgrown snap vine. Indeed. Should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, if we had even another Yip in play and these are all 7-7s, seven that would be pretty crazy. Yeah, thankfully for us, they didn't have too many. They really didn't have too many elusives. They really just had a, a hand of all their non-elusives, right? Like they just had all their their two ones, um, and Omen Hawks and the Kinku Wayfinder. That's why I just don't play Kinku Wayfinder really in that deck anymore. Um, yeah, I I don't really like Wayfinder in that deck. I have play Sejuani instead. Uh, but there we go. So there's Professor Snapfine. So four and one. You know, leveled up Twisted Fate is just awesome. That was the only thing we lost to. You know, besides that, um, you know, we did really good. The one card that looked great was Blackspear. This card was just awesome. We always had allies dying, and so it was just a nice, efficient removal spell being three mana, three damage. That card was awesome. Um, and then Professor Von Yip, of course, was probably like the... Uh, well, this and Elise. <laughs> those those were our two best cards, Elise and Professor Von Yip. And we drew those two cards quite a bit. Um, and yeah, those cards were amazing. Yeah, I think I think my least favorite card is probably the Salesman. Uh, I wouldn't mind a little bit... Like, maybe even instead of... Like, we just kind of... We already have enough things that go wide. Other people said, like, maybe play uh, one of these cards. This thing that makes, like, two 1-1s one -ones in here instead for three mana. Uh, whatever that card's called. I am not seeing it. 
but instead of that card, because it's three mana, make two one ones, right? Am I just not? Scrap dash assembly. Is that three mana? It's two mana. Oh, okay. It's two mana. That's why That's why I wasn't seeing it. It's two mana, make two one ones. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So, I uh, saying so could play scrap dash assembly, which that wouldn't be bad either, you know, especially with Professor Vanya makes that pretty good. But honestly, I think you maybe just want a little bit more removal. Um, I think that you're able to go wide enough. And so with those, with like a little bit more removal, it, maybe the card that it, to play would be like Gotcha. Uh, we saw how good the the three damage with the Black Spear was. A lot of th a lot of champions have three health. Maybe a couple more of those with like some Gotchas. Uh, Mystic Shot's also another option. Yeah, may maybe Mystic Shot's better because Mystic Shot goes upstairs and going upstairs helps you win your games. You know, with your Neverglade Collector and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, maybe Mystic Shot uh, as well. Um, yeah, those are some other options. Uh, uh, I really like having one Vengeance. I really like having a Progress Day in this kind of deck. Um, I could see even playing like a second Progress Day and even a second Vengeance, honestly. Like instead of these, I could just see, um, you know, having a couple of more of those available at the top end. They're pretty important. Um, also, I think Gotcha may be better than Grasp. Maybe you don't need like that Drain 3, but just getting the cheaper spell could be more impactful. Especially times that this costs 2. It's just such a good tempo play and just uh, such such less mana that could be worth it uh, playing that instead of Grasp. Yeah, that's true. I I was um, I was thinking that caretaker was going to be really good for us, but yeah, we're we're going so wide all the time that uh, caretaker is kind of difficult to uh, difficult to pull off. But I wouldn't want to really take out caretaker. Caretaker has some huge upside. Uh, we did a really good job of going like Elise and Professor Von Yip, but games aren't always going to be that easy. Uh, with Elise, like sometimes you're gonna have like hapless aristocrat and then want to caretaker to be some more removal. Um, all right, but anyway, there we go. That's Professor Snap Vine. Uh, good show in here. All right, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, feel free to leave those comments. Another four one man. The last the last game of the poor was the North. I messed up that game. That could have been a 4-1 also. We could have been on a huge streak of 4-1s or better because all of our decks yesterday were 4-1 or better. Um, but awesome. Another another good meme tier deck. Thank you very much uh, to Mod for this one and uh, Mogwai uh, for making it. All right. Uh, yep. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Professor Snapvine, and I'll see you for the next video.